Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. Sorry, I feel like my bun is crooked. Ha! Including the readings that I offer. Yes, so read through that. Let me know what you want to move forward with and I'll get you all set up. If you do have trouble deciding, please still email me. We'll chat about the situation a little bit and then I will help you decide. Yes? So, Staying true to form. First and foremost, please understand that these messages are timeless. Why? Time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. Yeah. So this doesn't have to resonate for the month of June for you. Whenever you are guided to watch it and it resonates with you, that is the message for you in that moment of your life. Yes. Or I guess I should say in this current moment of your life, speaking to whenever you are watching the video. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep it cute, and I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot for our Tarot spread, doing a freestyle reading. If you're new to my channel, you're about to get an in, uh, some uh, insight into how the, my general freestyle reading flows. You won't be able to see the cards. Um, I do want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you guys for this general reading, but when I do the private readings, the camera is facing the cards. You get to see the whole spread as it looks on the table. But then I'll be getting some Oracle guidance. And this month I decided to go with a new one. I'm using the Sacred Rebels Oracle. I love this deck. It's freaking amazing. The messages have been so on point this month. Um, yes. All right. Let's get into this, Taurus. Uh, mm, so I have a little bit of a pre-shuffle here for you. And I'm not going to lie. Like, your energy just feels like shit <laughs> i don't know and I'm, I'm 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 not trying to like I'm, I'm just saying what i'm feeling for you guys right now like i literally feel like a turtle that's kind of like poking its head out of its shell trying to see if everything's okay um i don't know what's going on for you guys but something doesn't feel right the first in the first pre-shuffle um it was the three of wands that came out was it the three of wands yeah, it was the three of wands. And then with that was the page of swords. And that's kind of the energy that's giving me this, this, um, in, like this feeling of, or this vision of like maybe a turtle or, um, I don't know, a groundhog or something like that. Just some creature kind of like poking its head out, trying to see if everything's okay. Um, and it feels like that I'm seeing it as a turtle because like, it's like you're in your shell. You're like, you're, you're in, you're in some sort of armor, some sort of guarded position right now like really guarded okay and underneath the deck was the two of cups so to me this is saying that th you're dealing with some sort of romantic situation that has been really burdensome on you in some sense but i'm kind of getting the feeling that this has a lot to do with maybe your own actions or your own sense of inaction in this situation because taurins can be can get into these into these time periods or these energetic periods where we're really lazy and really lethargic and we ain't trying to do shit. But it kind of feels like that has kind of backfired on you, yeah? Because now what I have, because then, because because I was, I was starting the pre-shuffle and I got those cards and I was feeling out the energy and I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do this right now. Um, and I, I was kind of rationalizing it to myself a little bit because this is the very last reading that I'm doing for June. Like I started at Gemini because it's Gemini, it's Gemini season. And then I worked my way all the way around and now I'm ending at Taurus. So I was kind of saying to myself, okay, well, maybe it's just because this is the last reading and I just don't want to do it. Uh, yeah, kind of, but not really. Because this is where your energy is right now. Like, holy shit, I just don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to do this. We'll get into why you don't want to do it, but I feel like you have some sort of romantic relationship or divine partnership or some, some sort of connection that is causing you to face yourself because now you have the five of cups with the lovers, right? Which to me is the major arcana version of the two of cups that was, that was on the bottom of the deck the first time. So there's... Oh, okay. And then you have the page of wands underneath the deck right now. So 
you have a divine partnership. Maybe this is a twin flame situation. Doesn't really matter. That's all just a label. It really doesn't matter because we're all, this is all just about you learning about yourself. You have a situation, some sort of divine partnership or really strong union or really strong romantic connection, whatever. Could be a Gemini, whatever. But you missed out on something or somebody missed out on something and it's causing you to re-identify yourself or whoever this is. This could be you, Taurus, or it could be the cross watcher. And with that page of swords energy that came out before, I was picking up on a heavy spying energy. So maybe you, Taurus, or the other person is like spying on you. It's whoever it is that's really in this turtle in their shell situation that's really just trying to hide away from the world right now or is really just trying to, it's escapism. That's what that turtle reference is, is saying to me. There's a form of escapism here for you, Taurus. There's something that you are not wanting to deal with and it's pretty major. Even if this isn't a romantic relationship that you're dealing with, this is a major thing for you right now because you're having to make a choice. You're having to make a choice, Taurus. Vice over virtue. For some of you, this is a choice about something you may have really wanted to do, but have never allowed yourself to do it. And because you never allowed yourself to do it, you ran into all kinds of problems that are now forcing you to finally make this decision, whether you like it or not. Yes, Taurus, whether you like it or not, because it's forcing you to get real with yourself. Page of Wands, to re-identify yourself. Okay. All right, this is pretty heavy, but hey, don't shoot the messenger, okay? <laughs> All right, so let me, yeah, and now look, the Ten of Wands is underneath the deck. You've got to let some shit go, honey. Ooh. All right, let's see what we've got for you here. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Three shuffles for you, Taurus. Um, the color I'm seeing for you is white. There is, in this, yes, there is a sense of purity here uh, and innocence, but that's because it, the, the spirit keeps saying reset. There has been a reset, or it's almost as if the universe, or maybe you, have pushed the reset button. And now you're coming to terms with things. You're getting down to the nitty gritty so that you can get back to who you truly are. Page of Wands, re-identifying yourself getting back to your sense of purity and innocence before you got all dirtied and muddied by the circumstances of three-dimensional reality. Okay, no one's blaming you for that, Taurus, but you have to pull yourself out of this or shit's just gonna keep hitting the fan. <laughs> Num uh, shuffle number two. And the last one. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Sense of direction is key here, is what I just heard. And I feel like that's what you're re-identifying with that Page of Wands energy. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Taurus. Oh, the Queen of Cups. You are all up in your emotions, aren't you, Taurus? But you are needing to get your emotions in check and really start diving into your intuition about this situation. Like what's, being, what's really being pointed out for me here in the imagery of this card is how intently the Queen of Cups is staring into that cup right now. She is doing nothing but listening to her own intuition. And that's what you need to be doing here, Taurus. That's the decision you need to be making with the lovers. I often say 
that the lovers, yes, is about a choice, but for me, it's a choice between vice or virtue. Are you going to choose vice and listen to what everyone else around you has to say about it? Or are you going to choose virtue and start listening to your own heart? Having the compassion, the empathy, the understanding, and the forgiveness to love yourself, even though you've made some decisions that have gone directly against what you actually truly want. And that's part of the situation too. There is a sense of disappointment in yourself here by choosing things that aren't fully in alignment with you and have now created a situation in which you have to find your way out of it, but you don't want to hurt others. But also you don't want to keep hurting yourself. At some point, somebody's going to get hurt. Would you rather set the record straight so you're not continually hurting yourself anymore? Or do you just want to keep that broken record going? But you have to have the compassion and empathy and understanding for yourself to continue to, to now move forward and make the right decisions for yourself. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. But wait a second. Wait a second. Because the first thing that came through with the Knight of Pentacles was, yeah, all right, slow and steady wins the race. This is not going to be an overnight change. But have you been procrastinating? Have you been stalling? Or do you find yourself in a stagnant energy? Mm. Yep. Five of swords. And underneath that, oh, the six of wands. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know what that means. We're going to find out. But that Six of Wands energy kind of feels out of place. Are you keeping up appearance, Taurus? Are you hiding away in your shell so that things just stay the same and you don't have to deal with the backlash of destroying it? Now, the other thing that this could be saying for you, Taurus, is that if you were to honor your emotions and honor your intuition and start taking the baby steps, yes, you're going to deal with conflict. Yes, you're going to deal with potential sabotage. But ultimately, you could find victory here. Listen, Taurus, if there is a direction that you want to move in and the people around you are currently not in support of that, then there are probably people that you don't need around you to begin with. I'm kind of picking up a really selfish energy from these external sources. Like they don't want you to change for the better because they don't want to change. Yeah, that's not beneficial. And the Queen of Cups energy is like, well, wait a second, what about me? Why do I not deserve to better myself? Or at least that's what you need to be saying if you're not already. Okay. So getting into the rest of your reading here, first and, half, first and second half of the reading, you could look at it as the first half and second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as the first half and the second half of the reading. Time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. At any moment, a message can come through in opposite or different places and still resonate with each other. Yeah. But take it as it resonates for you. If it does, in fact, resonate first half, second half of your month, take it. Okay. Moving forward. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Taurus, the Three of Pentacles. An energy of teamwork, yes, but I'm getting rebuilding here. Working on yourself. Uh, entrepreneurship, going to business for yourself. Okay, cool. You could be restructuring your business. But also you could be restructuring your life. Self-mastery, three, three of Pentacles. Also, teamwork. Now, if you have people around you that are not work, willing to work with you, again, you may want to reconsider whether you want to keep them as part of your team. I mean, that's not much of a team, is it? If they're not wanting, willing to work with you. If they're just more interested in working against you because you're not going the direction they want to go in or they want you to go in. A choice of vice over virtue here, Taurus. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the magician. You're manifesting some sort of betterment into your life.
Okay. Plain and simple. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, you have. There you are, the Hierophant. But also the status quo, establishment, family, religion, institution, university, marriage. Are you married? Is this something you don't want to be a part of any longer? The Hierophant is coupled with, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe there's a family situation here in which you, you have everything you want on a material sense, in a material sense, but there's no love or there isn't enough love or compassion or whatnot. For some of you, this absolutely does have to do with your career, finances. But what I'm getting from this is that you're learning how to reach this career fulfillment or financial fulfillment. Maybe some of you are in, you're, you're in school somehow, you're, you're, you're getting your master's, your doctorate, you're getting like, or you're just in like um, your undergrad or something like that. Yeah, for some of you, this does have to do with finances and your career. Um, and I think you want you might be wanting to go into business for yourself eventually. And maybe, all right, yeah. And maybe this has to do with your the choice that you need to make is what is choosing to do what it is you really want to do instead of what others, maybe your parents or family want you to do. Okay, your challenge or potential outcome here, you have ah, the Eight of Swords. Okay, you have to be the, you're the only one that can cut yourself out of this mental prison. It has to be your decision, Taurus. No one else can choose this for you. Because ultimately, if you allow someone else to choose this for you, then that's where you will be and you will have to deal with that it's almost as if you'll be stuck there now obviously you're never stuck anywhere but that's probably how you're going to end up feeling stuck you may already feel that way to be honest right now stuck in some sort of commitment that you never wanted to make to begin with but it was what it was expected of you it was what you were told was right for you and you're coming to understand that this is not right for me in any way and so you're feeling stuck. But you are the only one that can cut yourself out of this. You just have to make the decision to do so and follow through with it, regardless of what the naysayers say. Eight of Swords is coupled with the Three of Wands. That path, this came out in your pre-shuffle, in the first half of the pre-shuffle that, that didn't get caught on camera. I just don't want to do this, is what this is saying. So don't. Cut yourself free, Taurus. Now I know you're a fixed sign, and I know you're very much about commitment and honoring that and those commitments, but check it, Holmes. You gotta, you gotta honor that commitment to yourself first and foremost. Then you can honor commitments to others. And if you're honoring a commitment to yourself, then maybe you're starting to realize that, like I've been saying, the commitment that you've already made is not the right commitment for you. Closing message or potential outcome. Hmm. There's the Page of Swords again. This was another card that came out in the first pre-shuffle that didn't make it on camera. Because I pulled that pre-shuffle and then I started to like dive into the energies and I was just like, I don't want to do this. And then I was like, whatever, Eric, pull it together. Just do it. <laughs> okay, but Page of Swords here. Page of Swords is learning. Page of Swords is also communication. It could be spying. It could be spying on someone. Immaturity and immaturity in communication or maybe a lack of communication. Page of Swords is coupled with 
The Nine of Pentacles, that's really interesting. Learning to be independent is what I just heard from that. Huh. Some of you may be watching someone in their independence and saying, how do I get there? Okay. Yeah, learning to be independent. This is all teaching you how to stand your ground. There could be a Virgo in your life also um, with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles does represent Virgo energy. There could be a Cancerian in your life or you have Cancer in your chart with the Queen of Cups, maybe another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Also with the Knight of Pentacles here, in my opinion, I do see the Knights and the Pages as the mutable energies. So that would be Virgo again. Um, it could also be another Taurus or a Capricorn. And then with the Page of Swords here, you could have a Gemini specifically because that's the mutable energy or an Aquarius or Libra. Take it as it resonates. But this is definitely learning how to be independent, but also using communication to assert your independence. Now, it could also be showing up as the Knight of Swords here, not the Knight, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords here, because you've never really communicated about this before. So it's like you're learning how to speak your truth in terms of your own independence. Okay. All right, getting into the second half of your reading here, Taurus. First set of surrounding energies. Ah, the Queen of Swords. There's the Libra energy, maybe another, uh, maybe Aquarius or a Gemini, um, but now, now we're really getting into the standing your ground and speaking some truth in order to set the record straight, not waste your time or energy any longer. But like also, this is not an energy of being too nice about it. This might be a less than tactful conversation, shall I say? But it's like literally getting straight down to the truth of the matter, no if, ands, or buts, no subsequent conversation. This is how it is, and this is how it's gonna be. Queen of Swords is coupled with, yep, death, Scorpio energy. But it looks like there's going to be some sort of communication or there needs to be some sort of communication that is going to shut some shit down. <laughs> Woo! This lit, I just feel like someone's bringing something to an end here. It also could be, this is an energy of no more Mr. Nice Guy or no more, no more Mrs. Nice Guy, whatever, however you want to say it. But something needs to change. Something needs to come to an end. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Taurus. You have the fool. Yep. Embarking on a whole new direction. Taking a leap of faith. The fool is coupled with... Ah, the Two of Pentacles. It looks like some of you may be working on taking a leap of faith or making a change, but um, at this current moment, whenever this is that's resonating with you, it's like you're in between worlds. Some of you are kind of on the fence about whether you, are, whether you want to take this leap or not. So you're kind of like going back and forth with it. But hey, look, to be quite honest, and I'm seeing, this, I'm seeing this from the point of view of the person that's outside this Taurus energies or whoever I'm, I'm channeling for, because this could be for the cross watcher. On the outside, looking in on whoever I'm channeling for, like they're completely unbothered by it because you have to make this decision for yourself. So you can teeter-totter all you want, but you are only making life more difficult for yourself. That's really all there is to it. 
And that actually could be what this, because my eyes were, I was, my attention was taken to this Five of Swords energy in your overall. That, I mean, that literally could be what this Five of Swords energy is. Self-defeating, backstabbing, lose-lose for all parties involved. I, literally, Taurus, I'm hearing you are doing this to yourself. There's something about taking the reins. You're needing to take the reins. And just go for it. Just jump. Just jump, Taurus. For some of you, you've been thinking about this for way too damn long, and you just need to just do it already. Either shit or get off the pot. Close. Oh, no, no, no. Your challenge. In the second half of this reading here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. The challenge here is to get moving. The Knight of Pentacles is, your, is a card in your overall energy. The challenge here in the second half of the reading is to get your ass up and get moving. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with there is the Knight of Wands again. And you see, the challenge here is to um, start working on this newfound perspective that you have of yourself. Or to get to work in recognizing who you truly are or what it, identifying what it is you need to see about either yourself or your life. So you can make some sort of change. So you can stop teeter-tottering and take a leap of faith. Yeah? Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Taurus. We have Ooh. the devil. Capricorn could be representing a Capricorn in your life. You could have Capricorn energy in your chart. This devil energy represents fear, apprehension, maybe some confusion, stagnancy, lethargy, laziness. I'm hearing not wanting to see the bigger picture, not wanting to see things differently, fear, codependency, attachment. The devil is coupled with, oh, fuck yeah, judgment. So you, this is so difficult, Taurus. This is so difficult for you right now because you are absolutely in a period of ascension of waking up. So no wonder it's so hard. But, but, that's why you have victory here with the Six of Wands. Because victory is at hand. The Six of Wands is the last card uh, underneath the deck of the overall energy. And if you remember in the beginning of the reading, I was like, what the hell is the Six of Wands doing here? This doesn't make sense. This feels quite contradictory. Not anymore because you're facing the devil. You have the opportunity to overcome this attachment and codependency or whatever this is for you, okay? All right, Taurus, I like that. That really, that really turned out quite good in the end. Okay, so with all of that said, let's get to your Oracle message. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2019. Here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading here. Damn. Oh, shit, Taurus. Card number 32, which does boil down to a five, which represents struggle, but also change. Faith in the process, like shit. <laughs> Let's see what this says. Okay, here we go. 
No matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. We are at the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources. We might be left with only one spiritual power, that of faith. Fortunately, that is enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. That is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that defy limitation. It can affect, evoke, and influence situations through invisible but undeniably per per I'm sorry, persuasive means. You are in a situation where you cannot, quote, set right the course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong, nor does this suggest that you are not strong enough. It is a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life and your willpower will be supplemented by the power of life itself. Sometimes a bigger plan needs to manifest for the benefit of humanity on the, and the earth. You need to shift your perspective and realize that you are part of a greater unfoldment of life, that your individual life serves the greater plan and that you are not separate from its genius. This is what is happening now. You happen to be an instrument, I'm sorry, you happen to be instrumental to the greater plan as, and as such, you need to accept your position and be moved while also being empowered and protected as you make personal progress through your role in that greater scheme. This is a time for humility and trust. You need complete faith in the process and events that are happening. There is nothing to worry about. You will be moved most fully and easily and with the most grace and assistance through your faithful surrender. Ironically, it is through complete surrender in total faith that we become the most empowered. When we are no longer trying to impede the perfection of the greater plan, we can be aligned with and moved by the process. Having faith in the benevolence of life rather than harboring this suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out. Wait, hold on. Having faith in the benevolence of life, rather than harboring, harboring the suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out, have a joke at our expense, or carelessly toss us about without, I'm sorry, as though we mean nothing, then we can relax a little. Having faith in the process gives you space to be curious about what is taking place and to relax enough to be open to what we are most in need of, even if we aren't exactly sure what that is or how it can happen. The guidance from this oracle comes direct from the greater source of life itself. There is now an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you are currently in to the next chapter in your life story. You can't do it on your own. It is too big a shift. It needs the grace of life to intervene on your behalf. You will need faith though. You may feel as though the wheels of your trolley are coming off or that you are a bit rickety, but you, most, but you must also understand that the voice of life is now coming straight to your heart with this message. I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and in my wisdom, for I love you and I am guiding you into all that is rightfully yours. Know that what is rightfully yours is what your heart truly desires and you need not fear loss. Nothing is meant to come to you I'm sorry, nothing that is meant to come to you will be denied and it is safe for you to let go and allow me to move you. Through faith, peace is restored and you are able to know this and perhaps have some fun in the process. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope I didn't trigger you too much, but also if I did trigger you, good. Look at that. I love you. <laughs> I'm wishing you guys a great June. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes, take care. Mwah! Bye.